This is Sacriston Ori. Now, we're having 12 stories for Christmas, and this is story number one. This is actually something that happened to me last Christmas. Now, we had a little bit of snow last Christmas, I don't know if you can remember, and I had lots of fun in my garden, rolling around in the snow, having snowball fights, and I even built a snowman. I took a great big clump of snow, I rolled it in a ball, and I made a snowman body. I took another clump of snow, I rolled it in a smaller ball, and I put that as the head. I then went inside my house and I got a carrot and I stuck it right in the middle as a nose. I had to do a little bit of digging after that to find some stones, but I found a couple of eyes, I found a mouth that I put in a smiley shape, then I got some sticks for the arms. Now, I was going to put some clothes on the snowman. I was going to look for a hat and a scarf and some gloves, but it was so cold that I needed that for myself. So I carried on. And I went off to go and see some friends and we had some more snowball fights. But after that, when I got home, it was freezing cold. So I got changed into my pyjamas and had an early night and went to bed. But in the middle of the night, I heard a sound. A sound that went, <laughs> It woke me up. At first I thought it was my neighbour next door called Marilyn, but it wasn't. When I opened up the curtains, I saw a wicked witch. Her face was terrible. She had one great big eye that was looking at a smaller eye, and that smaller eye was staring straight at me. She had a hook for a nose that was covered in spots. She had hair hanging out of her nostrils. She had a great big long chin that was covered with spots and warts and hairs. She had big spiky hair that made her look like Sonic the Hedgehog, and there was little creatures, there were little creatures crawling around in there. I think they were nits. Anyway, she was flying on her broomstick. And as she was flying, she was whizzing through the air, she pulled out a magic wand and she zapped that snowman that was in my garden. And then she flew away with a cackling laugh. <laughs> now, I looked down at the snowman and something extraordinary happened. Suddenly, the snowman lifted one frosty frozen leg from the ground. And then it lifted another frosty frozen leg from the ground. It had come to life. But its face was no longer smiling. Now it was looking grumpy. The grumpy snowman walked off out of my back garden. It walked down the side of my house and then I couldn't see it anymore. But I heard a knocking at my front door, shaking with fear. I went downstairs and I opened the door just a little bit and the snowman said, I'm cold. Give us your coat. So I threw my coat from the hook. I slammed the door shut and I watched from my window as the snowman went next door to my neighbour's house. He knocked at the door and said to my neighbour, I'm cold, give us your hat. The hat was thrown out. The snowman went to the next house. I'm cold, give us your scarf. The next house. I'm cold, give us your boots. I'm cold, give us your jumper. I'm cold, give us your socks. I'm cold, give us your pants. <laughs> The snowman went all the way up and down the street, getting clothes from everybody. And I thought, it's not very nice, this snowman stealing all these clothes. So I had a little think. And then I had an idea. I called to the snowman, Oi, snowman! I opened the door nice and wide and said, Come in my house. If you're cold, I know what to do that can warm you up. I then watched as the snowman got closer. And when he got closer, I sat him by the fire, I turned up the heat, I gave him a cup of hot chocolate and he melted all over the floor so that all that was left was a little carrot bobbing in a pool of water. And then I picked up all the clothes and I returned them to the neighbours, apart from the pants because I didn't want to touch those. But everybody else got their clothes back. We have never, ever seen the witch since then. So I'm hoping that you don't see the witch this Christmas either because she might bring your snowman to life. The end.